YouTube, welcome to my channel Anna Bella. Welcome to my Warhammer Age of Sigma Mortal Realms review issue 42. Now in issue 42 you don't get any models. You do get two paints. So we have this one. Pallid Witch Flesh and that's a layer paint. Shake it, shake it, shake it. And we also have here Calgar Blue. Shake it, shake it, shake it. They are both unopened, so there they are. You also get this fabulous small layer brush. Now, here are all my official Warhammer brushes here. This is a combination of my really old ones, the three red ones and the blue, and my Warhammer Conquest and my Mortal Realms brushes. Okay, so what do I have? In old school money, I have a fine detail brush. I'm going to put that there because we're going to compare its tip. Here we also have a detail brush in old school Warhammer money. And the same here. And that's really old school one because that is chunky. Then we have what I consider the best ever starter brush known to man. Look at that tip there. And then we have the three questionable starter brushes Two I got with Conquest, one I got with um, Mortal Realms, and one I've just dropped on the floor. Here we go. Pick it up. Ta-da. Here is the texture brush that I got with Mortal Realms. Ta-da. So you've got like a trowel, like appendage at the top, and then a pokey appendage at the bottom. Or like a butter spreader. Only you would use paint. Or the base paint that's got the sand in. And I've also got a large dry brush, thank you, Conquest, and a medium dry brush, thank you, Mortal Realms. And on top of that, I also have a medium layer brush with a cute little tip, and I also have a medium base brush. Happy days for um, basing bases, weirdly enough. Because I know they do the whole layer and base with the paints they now, which they never used to do. Anyway, so let's just take off these tips. Do keep your protective tip, your tip protector, because you will want it. Because look at this baby. I mean, just look at that. That is gorgeous. If we take off the fine detail one, you will see what I'm talking about. Always look after it. So that's the fine detail one in red. The black one is just the small layer one. Okay, cool. Very carefully. Then we flip off the detail brush. Ah, uh, yes. So there you have it. So the small layer brush, I would say, is equivalent to the old school detail brush. Stay in the tip, you, rather than the fine detail brush. So there you have it. I've also been asked, what do I do with all of my paints? Well, they live in the paint box, buddy. Yeah, that is all my paints. I've got some really old school paints in here. Yeah, that is not one of them. But this is... This is like Goblin Green. There you are, from like ancient Warhammer times. And I've also got these ones where they used to flip up. So let's see if it will actually do it. Will it flip? No, it's not going to. Oh, it will. It will if you use your teeth. There you go. Flip up. And I've really got some really, really old ones. I believe I've got a screw top one somewhere. Where's the screw top one? I don't know. I'm just old school mithril silver. Don't tell. Don't tell the Lord of the Rings author. We won't. There's a copyright claim there. Um, I did have some of the screwy ones for these when they were screw tops, but they were so bad because the paint got in the... Um, turning mechanism so as you can see this is a combination of my old paints that i all that i originally had my warhammer conquest paints 
and obviously now my Mortal Realm paint. So they're all here, and yes, I do have um, multiple copies, which is one of the reasons why you do this collection, because of cheapness. I mean, come on. So there you have it. This is where all the paint hangs out when it's not being used in a nice, safe container that is not going to explode it. On the top, we have uh, some stuff from Conquest that should be getting painted. I know, people will be like, oh, she keeps them like that? How terrifying. Yep, uh, the bit box from Conquest is all in there. Well, it should be. Get in there. Ah, uh, it's all in the mechanism. Yeah, we got people in the mechanism. Uh, just put it back. So that's all like Warhammer Conquest stuff in there. And um, then I've got most important bases from the current issues. Clippers, nicely held together with the most professional elastic band. The glue. And what is left of my green stuff. Yes, I know I'm running out. So that's where that lives. Also, I've got some spongy stuff as well in there just because. So I'm going to put all my beautiful, beautiful, beautiful brushes back in what I call brush jail. So they live in here. It's a really, really cool thing. You just put them in, keep them nice and standy uppy. Bang, 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 straight down there. Keeps them all nice and tidy for as long as possible because that is what we want to do. We want to extend the brush life, people. Extend the brush life. Get in your tip protector. How many seconds will it take to? Hey, it's in. There we go. Happy days. Join your fellow brush brethren. like threading a needle only it's a brush yeah I don't think this one's gonna happen anytime soon no no way yeah hey do keep the brush tips really do do keep the tip protectors because they do an awesome job Of keeping the tips protected because that is their job. So that's me babbling about how I look after my brushes and where I put my paints because somebody complained. Also, just want to say something. It's four o'clock in the UK, in England, and it is that dark. That is the outside, my peoples. That is the outside. So forgive me if I don't exactly feel like gluing models together in an enclosed space because I value breathing. It's not the corona that's going to kill us. It's going to be the glue fumes. You know, just come with a glue warning. Caution flammable. And, yeah, it can make you high. Right, where's the paints? So this week's lovely paints can go and join their painty brethren. In here. Ta-da! Okay, the reason these guys are out is because these are the ones I'm currently supposed to be using when I'm touching up the models that I was currently working on. And that's why they're still out. Always make sure to secure your carry case. Yeah, we're secure. That's cool, just check the side. Yep, secure. And I don't care that it looks primary schoolish. It does the job. Here we have issue 42, which we're going to flick through now. In this issue, we get all of that. Okay. The realms. The chamon. So there you go. The realms. The prime inner lands, part two. Good old orcs and goblins. So we've got Uruk, the bone splitter. And then we've got how to paint relayering. So, relayering is what you do with cloths. So, any cloths, 
gets relayed. In this guide, you will learn a technique called relayering. Relayering is used on soft textures like cloth, as these areas reflect light differently than hard surfaces like metal. You will selectively reapply base paints over the areas you have already shaded. This will make the shadow subtler and the highlights applied later less extreme in comparison. So battle ready, relayered. Happy times. And the two paints that you got in this issue won't be used for this relayering. How annoying. So that's Rakath Flesh. Use it. Then you use the Cantor Blue. Yep. Night Haunt. And then it's how to highlight. Highlighting is a technique used to define and exaggerate the form of a model. You will use your small layer brush, cough, cough, what you got in this issue, to apply bright lines of paint to edges and prominent raised areas of the model. This technique brings out details and helps define an area's shape. It also creates contrast, which helps to bring out the model's colours, particularly dark ones. Highlighted models, highlighting models in this way makes them look impressive on the battletop as it's where they will most often be seen. Highlights bring your models to life. So there you go. And this is where you will use the cough, cough, the two paints that you got with this issue. So this is all about highlighting, babies. So paint on the palette, thin it with water, too thin. Apply to brush, twist the brush, apply paint on the brush. Brace, bracing wrist, side of brush, tip of brush. Yeah. So it is really, really, really carefully applied. Really carefully applied. So there you have it. Command point tutorial. Battle at the arc. Just to let you know, more counters. Remember, photocopy and then glue them on card, then cut out. Makes life so much easier. Then we have, in issue 43, for reasons unknown, you get a war machine and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight figures. I'm going to count that again. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, you get six figures and a war machine. Issue 44, you get an executioner for the Night Haunt because the Night Haunt clearly have been forgotten about recently because we've got more Stormcast reinforcements than you can shake a stick at. So there you have it. That's issue 42, plus where I keep my paints and where I put my brushes. Hope you've enjoyed this really long review. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I will be doing the whole of my Warhammer Age of Sigma Mortal Realms collection up to issue 40 next. So stay tuned. Bye. And let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for the support. Bye bye.